Hey guys, Screen Team here. We're about to check out the Green Lantern panel at WonderCon. The main man himself, the Emerald Warrior, Ryan Reynolds, the Green Lantern. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, all right. So uh, I'm, we're going to throw it to you guys in a second, but first I want to I want them to talk a little bit about um, about the process of this movie because I know it's for you, Ryan. It's the first movie like special effects, super heavy. How's it feel to? I know you just saw this stuff. So how's it yeah. feel to uh, to shoot on a, a blue a blue screen stage and in a gray suit and then see, see this that? Thing? It's pretty spectacular. I mean, you know, spending six months in a sound stage in Louisiana, you know, staring at the color blue <laughs> until you have nothing but two smoking ocular cavities. <laughs> Actually feels pretty good when you see that shit right there. That was, that was, <laughs> that was all right, you know. So, yeah, definitely worth it. I highly recommend it. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Blake, Excuse one me. of the things, um, when, when, when we, uh, when we first met, there was a big debate about whether or not your hair was going to be, you're going to be a brunette or, or you're going to leave your hair blonde. And you were really, the thing that I love is that you were like, it has to, ha we have to dye it. So why, why did you, why did you want to do that? Well, for everyone here, I mean, there was no debate. You know, Carol Ferris is a brunette and I'm blonde. I couldn't, <laughs> yeah, it's not me, it's her. I had to, I had to make the, you know, the fans proud. And I actually, um, there was this, this bodyguard that I, worked with on Gossip Girl and he never says more than two words. I've worked with him for four years. He's very, you know, serious and stoic and and um, you would never pin him as somebody who's ever read a comic in his life. And as soon as it came out that I was I was cast for um, for Carol Ferris, he pulled me aside and he's like, tell me what's happening and, and, and what are the costumes and who's playing this and you have to make sure and, and just like grilling me on, on, on Green Lantern. And he goes, your hair has to be brown. And I said, okay, yeah, I want to brown. He goes, no, you don't understand. It has to be brown. Not only for me, he goes, but for your own security. Your life is in danger if you don't make your hair brown. So, you know, I said to Warren, you know, this is, this is a matter of national security, so my hair must be brown. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> uh, so, so, Ryan, I saw your diet uh, down in New Orleans. It's, it looked pretty awful. Yes, uh, just I, all I ate were orphan children. <laughs> for, the, for the whole movie. What did you have to do yeah. to, to, to prepare yourself for the Green Lantern? Um, you know, was, look, any, any one of these kinds of films, you have to be obviously physically prepared. I mean, you know, I'm... I'm not an old guy, but I'm not, you know, 19 anymore when landing from 20 feet onto concrete was hilarious. <laughs> uh, now it, it sort of hurts. So, um, so, you know, you had to be physically ready. But yeah, I spent about six months before shooting just doing everything I needed to do to become Hal Jordan. And, um, you know, one of, that was, one of the things was gymnastics, which, you know, you can't tell on TV, but none of those guys are 6'2". <laughs> it's very hard to do a standing backflip when you're over 5'7". Yeah, so we're teaching me a little gymnastics, so, you know, just, just trying to get me used to, you know, rotating in the air and not, uh, not throwing up the orphans I ate <laughs> earlier, so, yeah. So, Blake, uh, you got, this is the first time you guys worked together, so tell me about that experience. What, what, was, the, what was Ryan like on the set? To work with. Horrible. Mm -hmm. it, it was just awful. We actually, they just CGI'd the? us in the same scenes together. We weren't. <laughs> yeah. The restraining order made shooting difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually so jealous of all the stunts that he got to do in the flight training. My first day on set, um, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying New Orleans. I went and got beignets and, you know, I come to set and here he is on, on this harness flying, was it 100 feet in the air? Yeah, we went over 150 feet in the air that first day. Yeah. It was amazing. So in the, in the middle of the city of New Orleans on this giant crane, and here he is flying. It was, it was so incredible. And, and they had a, a stuntman above him, you know, who was um, parallel to the ground with a camera. Um, so all that stuff that you see is, is really practical and cool. But uh, other than that, working with him, <laughs> other than being jealous and, uh, you know, feeling like he was my rival. Well, you know, Kara Ferris <laughs> does become Star Sapphire, so... I plan to take yeah. all my pent-up anger and aggression and jealousy there. Yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> great. So, Ryan, out of... You could be any superhero. Um, I know you really, you really wanted to be the Green Lantern, so why out of all the characters did, did you choose Green Lantern? Well, it's, look, I mean, I, I, I had a meeting on... on what's that? 
to show off that six-pack. Oh, said. yeah, sorry. It's all about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Not now. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, trust me, uh, you don't want to see that. Now, I'm, now, I'll, now I'll do the oath. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Um, uh, this is, uh, they did not provide a pole for me to dance on, so I apologize. No, I, I think they're talking to Jeff, actually. Oh, yeah, they're, Jeff, they're talking to you. No, yeah, get off. Your <laughs> you know, get some, you know, got any sexy music? Do this for real. You guys want to line up? We'll get some questions. There's a mic right here. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just go for it. Yeah, yeah. Sing, sing Total Eclipse of My Heart. <laughs> if you would. Oh, someone's got to hook that up. Yeah, all this preparation and we yeah. can't make a mic work. <laughs> we can send Amanda Oa. Can we get that mic on, somebody? That'd be awesome. Yeah. Screen Team Media.